guys welcome to my channel and welcome to today's video so today's video is going to be a perfume video today i'll be talking about some perfumes that actually masaba created in collaboration with nika i hope i'm saying that correct and a lot of you did ask me to actually review this particular range now i have also reviewed the nika's moa perfume range uh, on this channel i'll leave a link over here and also in the description box below if you have not watched that video i would request you to watch that video because there are certain general pointers which is actually common between both the ranges uh, by nika those general pointers alone are of around you know five to six minutes so i don't want to repeat that over here but only in a nutshell if i have to say i'll say probably two things first the packaging is the same as that of moa so i do not like the packaging of these smaller bottles which is for 2.99 i believe yeah the quality of the packaging is not that nice so it is exactly same bottle so if you're willing to purchase the 16 ml variant which is for 299 uh, you'll have to be very careful uh, so that you don't drop this bottle you know even miniso uh, when they bring out their 10 ml variants make actually good bottles they are very good bottles very sturdy bottles that will not break nika has done a really bad job with the packaging now if i talk about the masaba which is the number 2 point if i talk about this masaba by nika collection i just feel like and i could be wrong i'm not really sure but it is just my personal opinion nika has created a perfume on which they have just stamped on masaba's name with the you know quirky prints by masaba i believe this is her print because she's known uh, for her quirky prints on her designs and stuff so i believe that is the only thing done because the perfumes are not really that unique i do have a favorite in this range and i can very confidently say that um um uh, you know i own a couple of perfumes but i have not smelled anything like that before and i really like this perfume so let's quickly get started but before that if you're a sucker for perfumes and if you like perfumes then uh, especially the affordable ones uh, then you can watch my perfume playlist i'll leave a link over here you can definitely go ahead and watch that especially the zara perfumes and all of that so let's quickly get started guys i'm going to start with this perfume and honestly i've made so many notes for every single perfume so i've tried them for like around a month to actually bring to you this perfume to you guys the longevity i would say is really good of all the perfumes um Uh, from this masaba collection masaba by nika the first perfume that i have over here is masaba by nika this is what the packaging says this is called as moa crock and roll and this is an eau de perfume because it says it is an eau de perfume you would automatically expect the uh, lasting to be good and it is good it is around 5 to 6 hours but it is winters here in delhi i think in summers it's going to get reduced to around 4 hours but i think that's pretty decent and uh, they have these smaller variants but of course they come in bigger sizes as well so if you're not sure about which perfume you want you can definitely go ahead in nika store and sniff the perfumes before buying but if you can't do that or you do not have a nika store around you you can definitely buy these 2.99 16 ml and uh, you know these actually last a pretty long time so they have all the details mentioned over here at the back so i'm not going to read that but i will definitely read what the perfume actually says at the back and what i feel about the perfume and if i can show you i have actually you know the first time the first impression notes i've written down at the back with green pen so uh, yeah so let's quickly get started i'm going to take out this perfume and this is called as crock and roll and the packaging is like this so it comes in these kind of test tube packaging the bottle is not very sturdy as i told you just make sure that you don't drop it don't put it in the bottom of the bag just make sure that it doesn't sink in in your bag because it might break if you put a lot of load on top in your bag so that is one thing i have to say i do not like the packaging sometimes even the spray feels slightly difficult to spray yeah so i do not like the packaging at all nika could have done definitely could have done a better job with the packaging now let's quickly start and review the scents so this one actually crock and roll would be something that i would love during the months like during uh, you know summer evenings uh, spring evenings it's a really nice you know spicy perfume this could also be a unisex perfume i really like the fragrance of this one and it says over here that this is curated for many moods of you crock and roll is a vivacious one fruity notes of orange blossom exude femininity uh, while layers of musk and amber blend comfort blend comfort with spontaneity this is a reflection of your personality um this is quite vague however it does smell slightly fruity 
a sweet orange sort but not sickly sweet a good fresh sweet when i was in school there was really tiny or bigger bottles of this deodorant or perfume called as spins so the leaving notes or the parting notes or the dry down of this perfume is like spins i can say i definitely like it um, this one is also like pons perfume slightly pons powder i'm sorry and it is a very fresh summery fragrance you cannot go wrong with this one i mean i'm quite surprised i really like it it would be great on people uh, over the age of 25 but i think even youngsters can wear it it's in my notes over here i've mentioned that this smells really good after 30 to 45 minutes of application this is a very powdery very you know uh, not really sophisticated fragrance but it's a very you know non-complicated uh, beautiful fragrance which is very youthful i would say it's very youthful fresh peppy but at the same time you know anybody with a happy heart can wear it proudly it's a beautiful scent you will not go wrong with this one crock and roll i think this is one of my favorite i would say because yeah i have i have written it over here i like it i mean i'll give you and i've written really ganda ganda notes because you know i was just writing the notes minute by minute i definitely would recommend this one this one this i would say this is spicy peppy happy and a very nice fresh fragrance moving on to the next one that i have here is uh, called as masaba by naika mua spot on and the packaging is okay the first thing that i've written over here is undescribable i'm not sure why but i've also written here in a circle that i like it okay all right let me just quickly tell you that spot on is my favorite in this collection and i love this fragrance two bits i can say very confidently that i've not smelled anything like this before let me see what they say first spot on for the ones who dare to be different it opens with a burst of bergamot tea or smantis i don't know the fragrance of all of these this is crazy that further blends with an explosion of oriental scents leaving a trail of charm behind only the word charm I can relate with because this perfume is definitely very very nice it is very charming it says it is a reflection of your personality actually all the packaging says this it is a reflection of your personality so I think that's the tagline I'm not going to read that again now so let me quickly explain this perfume in my way so what I have written um okay crock and roll is done so put it here so what I have written and I have used quite a lot of it I've been using it quite a lot because I just love the fragrance of this one I just don't like the packaging. Yeah, it's a very nice fragrance. So, um, um, the first thing that I will tell you, the first uh, spray of this perfume is powdery. And that powderiness uh, is like the flower plumeria. I'll give the picture on the screen. When I worked in Leela, the logo was of a plumeria flower. So, I have smelled plumeria and i love the fragrance of plumeria it looks very beautiful it looks very feminine it's a flower white and yellow color very delicate small flower that smells so good i have never ever you know smelled anything like this before in any scent i'm not sure if any of the names actually is a scientific name for plumeria i'm not sure but plumeria this definitely smells off now i have written leela flower because of time mujhe plumeria word nahi aata raha tha but it actually smells like a very very beautiful flower um also if you guys do not like the fragrance of dampness or something that is moist um I'm not sure I want to say stay away from it but that is the only you know uh, factor that I don't like about this scent it smells slightly moist and damp like um uh, you know I just don't like that smell but you know, but because the fragrance of plumeria is so uh, overpowering that the moistness actually kind of subdues then of course the middle note I've written is bit spicy with a hint of tea it definitely is spicy in fact I would say that the entire collection has spiciness into it I'm not sure but I think they have designed these perfumes uh, uh, you know specifically targeting um, women and men over 25 and uh, that could be a marketing thing but this is what I feel I'm not but my notes also say that this is a very unique smelling scent it is a floral scent let me quickly tell you but it is a very youthful floral scent 
that has a little bit of spice into it and i am not such a big fan of floral scents in particular but this scent is a very mild feminine scent but it is very different like femininity with uniqueness uh, is what this is all about then of course this is spring and summer scent you can just cannot go wrong with this during the summer the, during the coming summer and the spring it smells very very fresh and very very clean and slightly powdery powderiness is something that gives you you know a nice feel i feel like but it also has that balancing amount of moistness ka you know fragrance if you don't know what i mean by moist or a uh, wet scent it only means like you know i have mentioned this before as well when you spray um you know flowers with water and then you smell it in the morning or you smell wet grass in the morning that is what it smells like then i've mentioned over here that dry down is delicate fresh floral and a bit powdery and, and i definitely mentioned that so it smells really nice and it has a really good lasting power one day when i was trying it you know after you take a bath and you apply it it's going to last a really long time i would definitely recommend this one which is spot on and it looks really good the only problem is that you know the names are mentioned over here spot on so you can't really see so if you have a couple of these perfumes it actually looks like urine samples i'm so sorry but this is how the urine samples are stored in any kind of in in any pathology i would say so uh, i really wish they could actually mention the name over here so it is not um, you know is so it is not that inconvenient for you to go through each smell if you want to you know spray a particular fragrance on you so that is the only thing that i find annoying other than that this is a very good fragrance i can see myself buying the bigger bottle of this one i mean i like it so much moving on to the next perfume that i want to talk about is this one this is called as uptown girl and this i like the packaging of this one it's a really nice packaging of uh, you know a succulent and it's very peppy and fun let's see if it smells that good so uh i have written my notes over here then i also have my notes over here let me take out the bottle i have used it a little bit and uh, the only thing that i can say about this one is that it smells like jasmine up front jasmine let's so it says that for the ones who aren't afraid to strut the beats of their drum uptown girls opens with a comforting scent of fresh blooms that will stir lifelong memories i'm not sure about that but this definitely smells very very floral in fact in all the flowers it smells specifically of jasmine and what i have to say is that it smells like jasmine the first word and it is floral all the way so it is not like very much complicated with the top and the middle and the base note it is almost like same throughout but very slightly different in the dry down so when you first spritz it it's going to be a gush of jasmine fragrance on you yeah and it's not bad it's a good fragrance i like the fragrance of this perfume but it is specifically for spring and summer and this is for all the age groups i would not gender discriminate my perfumes but then i would say that this is specifically meant for women when you first spray the perfume i've mentioned over here that it smells like freshly blossomed jasmine and as it dries down as time passes it smells like slightly stale I would say so. so when you spray it the first spritz would be like a gush of jasmine it's it smells like really freshly blossomed jasmine in the morning but as it dries down like after 15 to 20 minutes you're going to uh, feel as if the jasmine has wilted like it's like a natural process of the jasmine wilting but smell good nonetheless and it smells like a bouquet of flowers so so it is definitely a floral scent but it is a fresh floral scent if you like jasmine by any means you would love this one i would tell you because this is one of the most uh, uh, you know authentic jasmine scents i have ever sniffed not ever but like i have sniffed in a perfume that it's it's a it's a genuine authentic jasmine it's a very good fragrance i would say even for office so the next perfume is called as burn babe so what burn babe is all about it says that it is for anyone who believes in turning every limitation into ashes opening with enchanting oriental and woody scent and fragrance creates a powerful aura i'm not sure about that let me just quickly tell you the first spritz of this particular fragrance is like alpenlibe is caramel scent alpenlibe toffee uska caramel wala jo flavor aata hai it smells like that the first spray and smells really good it's a warm scent actually and it sm also smells of course it mentions uh, on the packaging also that it is woody and spicy and it is definitely woody and spicy 
the heart note is woody and spicy mixed with caramel and it gives a very unique twisted scent it is a mature scent i would say and this can also be a great unisex scent so man woman whatever you can wear it now the dry down is very pleasant it has vanilla into it so because it has vanilla into it it has to be my favorite i really really like it i'm not saying it is my favorite fragrance but uh, for some reason it is very warm it's a very cozy scent for this time like uh, jan feb or november december you know for winter months even i would say for monsoon months it's a very nice cozy fragrance and i have also mentioned over here that smells like phenyl the floor cleaner in a good way but very slight bit of hint of phenyl fragrance yes 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 the dry down has a very slight hint of the phenyl fragrance but it also smells like vanilla and caramel and the woodiness and the spiciness so all those scents are really overpowering so the phenyl is not that much you know what uh, prominent but it definitely smells like that or it's just that my senses are too strong anyway i can say that i really like this one this is burn babe so burn babe is definitely a good fragrance for the winter months it's a very nice fragrance very warm and a cozy fragrance for this time of the year so the next perfume in the line is this this is called as wild for you and uh, let me just quickly read what it says here at the back Somehow I have a cello tape over here, which is making it difficult for me to read. So it says it is raw, authentic and unafraid of exploring. Wild for you opens with cypress and birch notes, creating an adrenaline rush while the long lasting scent of suede and amber lingers on and on. Now, I never understand all these, um, you know, explanations of perfumes. I'm going to explain it my way. So the first spritz of this one, oh my God, I have to tell you this. The first scent is like that of Dettol. Pehla spray is like Dettol, but smells good. I don't know why I'm smelling Dettol and Phenyl and all those things, but it is like, you know, Dettol, but smells really good. And, um, uh, you know, this also is sweet scent, you know, a sweet smelling Dettol that has caramel into it uh, you know that's what it smells like that that definitely would be sounding pretty weird but smells caramel with Dettol with a slight hint of spiciness into it this one is also very long lasting yes I've written it over here it's very long lasting the dry down is spicy and this also smells really nice on clothes this I would say is a mature scent it's a good perfume for spring and summer uh, evenings I would say it is a good perfume for office because it smells like it all no not because of that because it smells really good for office it's a professional scent it is a non-interfering kind of a scent this is a scent that's not going to invoke any kind of romantic feelings that's weird but i think yeah it's a very neutral scent and it's a very good scent i would say um for office for wearing it during the day when you're at work because it's very non-interfering moving on and I don't know what non-interfering means it just means that it's not going to distract people otherwise if you're wearing a really really good scent everybody's going to be distracted so nobody will be able to concentrate on their work and thereby the productivity is going to suffer so always wear neutral perfumes wow moving on to the last perfume and i have not gone in any order so this might be the one that i don't like or this could be the one that i really like i'm talking about this one which is called as free spirit and it says here at the back this unconventional scent is the life of the party it opens with a sweet burst of bergamot and grapefruit and further blends with pink pepper to enchant all your senses i have mentioned here at the back that this is spicy and tobacco and i'm talking about free spirit let me just quickly spray it once more however i've really applied it but i've not applied this one enough because i didn't like it that much so if you like you know to tobacco scents you would love it like um like uh, Zara's, it smells nowhere close to Zara's Rich Mom Addictive. That's a really nice uh, gourmand kind of a scent. This is not, this smells like Maan Bahar. This definitely smells like Gutka, but it will not give you headache. That is also one thing that I have experienced with myself. I cannot stand the, uh, you know, the fragrance or the smell of tobacco, cigarette, Gutka, because it makes me feel dizzy and I feel pukish, but this one does not do that at all. I've written that it is spicy beetle-like 
with a hint of citrusy flavor into this one so it is quite um you know a nice a blend of citrusiness with spiciness with the tobacco uh, fragrance i would say it's a it's definitely a mature scent and it is going to smell really good in a man i would say again a unisex scent and of course this would be one that i don't like that much because of the notes of course but if you like man scent or manly scents this could definitely be your pick however this is not my pick because i am not a sucker for these kind of perfume so yeah that was wild for you for you guys uh, so that was my small little review so i like three fragrances from masaba by nika collection and those would be spot on then i really liked croc and roll and i liked burn babe these are three that i liked but the remaining three i'm not going to say that i hate it and i'm not being politically correct here i can just say that we all have different tastes so maybe what i like you might completely turn up hating those perfumes so do not go with my recommendations alone make sure that you watch more reviews on youtube and of course the best idea would be to actually go to the store and try that out if you can't do that you can get the tester bottles of these perfumes and try that for yourself let me know what you think about it let me know if you own these perfumes and what is your take on these perfumes put that in the comment section below I'm pretty sure it's going to help a lot of people who are contemplating on buying these perfumes so guys that was my review of masaba by nika perfumes i hope you have liked this video so thank you so much once again for watching this video leave a recommendation for any other perfume review in the comment section below and i'm going to see you in my next video very soon till then take very good care of yourself love you all so much bye guys bye